He is arguably the most influential president the Pan-African Parliament has had in its 13 years of existence. This notwithstanding, Cameroonian Roger Nkododang will be facing a tough re-election bid next May 2018. The Southern Africa Caucus, that has unsuccessfully pushed for an immediate implementation of the principle of rotation, already have a contender from Zimbabwe. During this October session, they multiplied meetings with MPs of other regions to win support for their candidate. The vibe and the spirit of election would always, you know, precede the elections itself. So I, I, I know there have been a number of, of campaigns that have been going on in terms of election, and I believe it is part and parcel of, of the democratic system. As the election fever rises at the Pan-African Parliament, members acknowledge unseating and replacing Roger Nkododank may not be that easy. He has migrated the Pan-African Parliament into such a dynamic institution. A typical example is the great achievement which we have seen on the issue of Sudan. It is part of the things that the President he has brought about, you know, to make sure PAP plays its fundamental role. I can guarantee you that with all my Ivorian parliamentarian colleagues who will be here in May 2018, we will campaign for Roger because we think he deserves to continue. If the Cameroonian is proud of the job achieved over the past three years, his Achilles heel remains the fact that his country is yet to ratify the Malabo Protocol, the birth certificate of the Pan-African Parliament. Today, Cameroon has signed a long time ago, but the problem now is to ratify. Uh, the, I, what, how can I explain, after three years in office, my country uh, didn't ratify it, and I hope this, uh, this November session the issue can be solved. With his record, he hopes to reiterate the exploit of May 2015 in May 2018. But to achieve this, he will more than ever before need the full support of his country and his region in order to convince the undecided.